I want this hand right here to represent you and me. And I want this billfold right here to represent all of our sin. Here's what the Bible says. The Bible says that we all have sin. The Bible says that God loves us but hates sin. The Bible says that there is a price that we have to pay for our sin. Here's what it says. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The Bible doesn't say the wages of sin is church membership or water baptism or confessing all of your sin. The wages of sin is death. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for our sin. The wages of sin was death. Someone has to die. Either we die and spend an eternity separated from God, paying for our sin, or we trust, this is what the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. Not works. The Bible condemns that. We're saved because we place our faith in Jesus Christ alone to save us. And he gives us eternal life because of it. It's the most marvelous truth of all that we can know where we're going when we die. It was what he did, not what I do. Being good is good, but being good isn't good enough to get you to heaven. We have to trust someone else, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins. And in the quietness of your own mind, you might say something simple like this. A prayer doesn't save you. This is you and God. Or you might say to God, Lord, the best I know how, I'm placing my faith in you as my personal Savior. If you believe that today, friends, you are saved. You're going to heaven when you die. What a remarkable thing. Mm -hmm.